Hello friends, welcome to Gadgets, Gizmos and Beyond. So today I'm going to do a long term review of Jabronix Pixaplay 15. So as you, all of you might know that I bought this uh, projector almost 4-5 months back. And I did a uh, kind of used it for a really long time. And after using it for almost 3-4 months, as you can see, uh, I have been uh, using it uh, and I think the most important thing to look into this is if you take you inside the projector to see whether it's there or not. I have sold this projector because this is not one of the good projectors which I was looking for. So even if the specs really say that this is really good, but if you look into the details and I have been using it for almost last 4-5 months, it really disappointed me uh, because the brightness wasn't good. Um, the like lumens wasn't great and it is also not able to play a uh, good content from Netflix and Prime uh, Amazon Prime so that's the reason actually I sold it so do not just go by uh, the specs over here like it says that it can project up to uh, like 457 centimeters uh, screen even if you do that it's really really bad quality of projection you are going to get the Wi-Fi connectivity is also not that great so you're not going to get good video quality on this uh, so lamp life is not um, that makes a lot of sense I think the biggest drawback of this projector is uh, lumens here it says that it has 3400 lumens but if you look at the really ANSI lumens I don't think it's going to be more than 150 lumens or so so that is this is the biggest drawback of this projector the lumens this is not bright at all and as soon as you make it more than like say 100 inches the picture quality really get uh, deteriorated so as you can see the mrp of this projector is almost 42000 rupees but i purchased it is around 13000 rupees or so but at least uh, but also at that price point it doesn't make sense to hold this projector so what i did is i sold it i sold it almost at a loss of 5 6000 rupees so i just sold it for 8000 rupees but nonetheless i'm looking for a good projector now and as soon as i get one I'll make a video of that and do a long term review. But if you are planning to buy the uh, Jepronix projectors, be aware because one of the specs you are seeing here might not be worth it and you are might going to get a very bad quality projector. Alright, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching.